In this one, we're going to get the AWS command line interface and Terraform installed. Now, if you've already got this done, feel free to move on. The only thing to take note of is that A, any version of the AWS TLI will work within reason. Don't go using a version that's like five years old. <laughs> but B, you do need Terraform version 0.12 plus installed. So if you're using an older version of Terraform, uh, stick around and we'll get the new version installed. All right, so I'm over here and the installing the AWS CLI documentation, and I'll put a link to this page below. So when you get here, you got two options, version two and version one. Uh, as for, for this project, at least for Vault on AWS, it actually doesn't matter which version you use. You can use either version, but you should use version two. Amazingly, version two is almost completely backwards compatible with version one, so there's not really anything to worry about. Uh, also, it's far easier to install uh, than the other ones uh, because it doesn't require any external dependencies. It all comes just in one neat little package. Now, I'm going to be installing it on Mac OS, but installing it on Linux and Windows is equally as straightforward. Uh, there is a lot of detail in these. There's like a ton. They, they put a lot of detail, but most of it's just explaining what every single command does. But in terms of actually getting it done, it's just a couple of commands. All right. So here we can see it's just a total of about three commands and then you're done. And on Mac OS here, if we come down to the installing using the command line, we can see it's just two commands. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. And by install this, I mean copy and paste these commands. <laughs> so let me hop back over to my shell here. And so I've just created a new directory called Vault on AWS. And this is going to be where I do all of my work for the rest of this series. Uh, so just make sure you've got a directory on yours that you can uh, use as your workspace. So let me push, put this command in. It'll go and download that package. And then I'm going to come here, grab the second command, put it in, and let it do its thing. Okay, so it looks like my installation is complete. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this output here. Next up is Terraform. Now, if you already have a version of Terraform installed, don't worry about uninstalling it. Uh, what we'll do, do uh, we'll overwrite your old version so there's nothing to worry about. So I'm going to hop over into my browser over and I'm on the Terraform downloads page. To get there, you just come to the main Terraform website and click download. And you'll see a variety of options here based on the operating system you're on. Now, unlike a lot of other tooling out there, uh, Terraform just comes as a single binary and then you just move that to the path that you want it to be at. So uh, for example, when AWS is fin finished installing, it just gets dropped into the USR local bin, which is just uh, happens to be a path that when you type in something like something, your shell looks through a variety of these different paths and see if something exists in one of those. And if it does, it executes it. And of course, there's <laughs> something isn't anywhere, uh, so nothing's going to happen. Anyhow, I am on Mac, so I'm going to download this version. And I, I, know, for, I know that that's in my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and move that from downloads right to this folder. And I'm going to unzip it. And if we do an ls here, we'll see that the binary is just right here. And all we need to do is just move it. So I'm going to move it to USR local bin right alongside the AWS, and which is actually a sim link, uh, not, not the actual binary itself. But anyhow, that's a kind of a, tangent, a side tangent there. Now with that done, if I run Terraform version, we'll see that 0.12.24 is indeed installed. And with that, we have everything that we need. The last thing to do is to just clean up these packages. So I'm going to delete the AWS one and delete the Terraform zip file, clear all of our output up, and now we're good to move on to the next step.